okay guys um i woke up this morning and i think uh let's clone facebook page all right login page all right so without no further ado i don't want to tell you much of story uh we're going to see how we can come up with something like this in a very simple way all right so i'm diving in into my um visual studio code i've created um something i call it um facebook login page i don't even know i think i said logo page or whatever okay let's just create an index i created an index.html so what i did was i just type doc so when i type doc it's i hit on enter the intelligence of visual studio code tells me that hey guys okay you really want to code it html i say yes okay fine what is the title i said facebook facebook login page all right okay that is a particular um, extension I would like you to install, and that extension is called um, Togo Pesticide. Pesticide. So I use it a lot. I'll tell you how I normally use it to actually, you know, snipe into. I mean, try to figure out how a particular website is being designed. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm saving it, and um, what is the first thing I'm going to do is that I need to create style of CSS. So I'm coming straight down to my. Uh, uh, let's say I'm coming straight down to my project i click um new file and i say style s t y l e style dot c s s so the moment i do that i can easily link it with my uh page by clicking on link tag type in link tag and i click on enter the link tag is actually going to tell me where is the location of the style i say star what is the name of the style and i say style dot css okay for me to be able to the rest are sure that this style dot css is actually being connected to my page i have to go back and i just I can just give it a body color i can give the entire website i mean page a body color of red it hurts the eye but let's just figure it out i say background color and i'll say background color is something like a brown let's use brown so that's won't hurt your eyes too much all right by the time you eat uh it's not actually giving us what we want uh, you know how i do our things we will try to you know minimize it so that we'll be able to see it oh what's going on i don't know probably maybe because i didn't put something like this all right i don't know <laughs> but let's see okay it's not giving me what i want or oh, brown like this let's use red i don't know what's going on or oh, style.css style.css okay yeah so just type the link like this and um come to style and everything is back i just give it a background color of black so it's working so i don't want this black to be there so i just have to remove it and um let me say well i want to give it a background color of white anyway so let's give it white like that and um i want to ensure that sorry i want to ensure that um it has um, a font size of 14 and a font family all right font size font size of 14 pixel and the font family font family of um open serif open serif serif open serif well, fine there is one thing i would like to explain to you right now so we can easily go to google and um you type open serif download google font type open serif you can easily do that right now uh let me get connected to the internet okay sorry i have to get connected to the internet okay so um this is how to copy google font you can just say open serif google font okay so okay we can easily use open sans all right you can by the time you go here it's going to load so when it loads it's going to take you to an environment where you copy some code something went wrong how was going on uh all right this is the open sense so you can easily click it uh click on what you want you can click on regular fonts click on regular 400 medium 500 i don't want to click on italic bold 600 and um, let's see whether we can see 500 okay all right so let's just scroll down let's scroll down there so you can easily click on linked or
contact import so let me click on import i like import so I just click on it like this so just copy it so when you copy it you paste it in your code so at the top you just paste it like you are importing so by the time you do that you can now easily use the font family open sound serif so you can copy this and um where's the css we have to scroll up a little you can delete this and paste that one in there so it's working right now so if you want to confirm whether it's working or not um you can easily go straight down to body and um, you create um probably a diff container so let's say hello world Um, let's go check it out you can see it's correct so there's one thing i would like to show you on google on facebook so when you click when you click here when you click on this special side you can see everything is inside the box so there's a particular container that has all of these um content so that container we are going to give it we are going to create it right now all right so let's go all right so we're going to say i want to create a div or what container the class of what container container so when i give it a class of container that means that container will contain some things right so to contain content so let me have a diff of content and that content we have uh, probably left content and right content so the left content is going to be something like this that the logo and the text and the right content is going to be the form okay so let's go so div dot what div dot left content let's do left content first okay let me say left content so the left content is going to contain an image so let's say div which is a logo and that logo is going to contain image so and the image is something like um uh, i think i've downloaded the image <laughs> I've downloaded the image so the image I've migrated it right now into this logo.svg so it's a Facebook logo so I just say logo.svg so by the time I do that uh, let's go back let's go check our code back and um, I think um, image source is logo is not written well it's logo.svg because I'm supposed to show you can see it has shown all right another thing we need to do is that we need to create um, under this left content we have an issue tag that contains some information so i just copy some information right in there facebook helps you to connect and share with people in your life so i'm pasting this one in there too i'm saving it okay fine you can see so but this needs styling so what we're going to do is that in the next tutorial we're going to see how we can style this thing and move it to the left angle that is supposed to be and until then i'll see you in the next tutorial bye have fun